Hello everybody! In today's video I'm going to tell you about backups on a computer with macOS, about the time machine function, how to configure it, and use it to restore important data. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Loss of data has always been a serious issue. Nobody can feel secure about it, and losing data is something that can happen to anyone. Damaged media, a virus attack resulting in your data gone with the wind, or accidental erasing. In the end, you always face the question, how to restore the lost data? There are just a few ways out of the situation, and one of the most reliable is to use backup functions. In case you ever lose important information, you can easily restore it from a backup copy. macOS operating system has got a built-in backup utility, Time Machine. To create backups with this function, you need to have OS uh, X10.5 Leopard or higher and an external drive where the data will be backed up. Time Machine function will create a backup copy of all files so that you can restore them if they are ever lost or view their original condition. Today I will show you how it's done with the example of this particular system, macOS High Sierra. You'll have to connect an external hard drive to the computer, otherwise the operating system won't be able to copy data to the same drive where the system is installed, unless you break it into several partitions. But essentially it makes no sense if the drive gets damaged, so using a dedicated drive for backups is much better. It can be an external hard drive connected to a USB, Firewire or Thunderbolt port, or connected to a USB port of an Airport Extreme base station, and you can also use a time capsule device or macOS server. When connecting an external drive to a computer running macOS, you'll see a notification that Time Machine will use it for backup. If the connected drive has a ROM format, the utility will suggest formatting it properly. The most widespread format for a backup disk in Time Machine is macOS Extended Journaled. If there is no important data on it, click Erase. You'll have an option to encrypt the drive by checking this box, <clears throat> and then you'll have to set a password. After that, only the users knowing the password will be able to access the drive. Click to use it as backup disk. If you connected a drive to the computer but the utility doesn't offer selecting it for backup, go to the System Preferences, Time Machine, and in the window that opens go for Select Backup Disk or Add or Remove Backup Disk. Choose the necessary disk from the list and click here to use the disk. In the same way, you can add one more drive and improve the reliability of your backups. After all settings are done, the utility will create a backup copy of the system drive automatically. Time Machine will keep local snapshots, hourly backups for the last 24 hours, daily backups for the last month, and weekly backups for all the previous month, while erasing the oldest backups when drive runs out of free space. To create a backup without waiting for the next automatic backup, right-click on the drive and select Backup Now. The backup process will start at once. To cancel creating backups on this disk, choose this option do, do not backup or don't use the disk. You can disable automatic backup by unchecking the box next to Backup automatically. To have the Time Machine icon in the menu bar, check this box. To exclude items from your backup, open Time Machine Preferences, then click the plus sign and select the item to exclude. To cancel a backup in progress, choose Skip this backup by clicking on the Time Machine icon in the menu. To check the current backup status, have a look at the Time Machine icon. When backup is in progress, it looks like this. When it's idle, like this. And here is how it looks when the utility is unable to complete the backup. Your first backup may take a long time depending on how many files you have. 
you can continue using your Mac while a backup is underway. Some Mac computers make backups even when asleep. Later, Time Machine will backup only the files that have been changed since the previous backup, so future backups will take less time. To restore a specific file, go to the folder where it used to be. For example, to restore data accidentally deleted from the Pictures folder, go to that folder, click on the Time Machine icon and select Enter Time Machine option. After that, you'll see many windows of this folder and the arrows to go to the previous or following copy of that folder and a timeline. By clicking on the arrow, you'll get to the folder of the last backup or an earlier backup, and using the timeline can help you move to a certain date quicker, for example, to yesterday. Select an item and press spacebar to preview it. Or Ctrl click on the item to view options, check the ones you need, and click Restore to restore the selected item, which will make it appear in the folder again. To restore all data at once, use the Restore from Time Machine backup utility. To run it, hold down the keys Command and R right after you press the power button or immediately after the computer restarts and before the Apple logo appears. When booting is over, you'll see a window with utilities. Select Restore from Time Machine Backup and click to continue. The disk which you are restoring is erased before receiving the macOS and other contents of your Time Machine Backup. To copy just your files, system settings or user accounts, use Migration Assistant. You can find it by going to the Go menu, Utilities, Migration Assistant. Continue. Select from a Mac, Time Machine Backup or Startup Disk. Then choose the source. Continue. Choose the last backup. Continue. Check the boxes next to what you want to restore, continue, and the information from the backup will be transferred. When the transfer is over, you'll see a message saying that your data has been transferred and is now ready to use, so click to finish. After that, you can sign into your account and continue your work. All data will be restored. And that is all for now. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.